Hello and welcome. The title of this poster is People with Aphasia Want to Keep Their Friends, So How Do We Help? This poster is about a long-term research project that we are currently working on. We presented this poster at the International Aphasia Rehabilitation Conference in Philadelphia in 2022. My name is Brent Archer. My co-authors on this poster are Katie Strong, Natalie Douglas, Jamie Azios, Nina Simmons Mackey, and Linda Worrell. What are the aims of our research project? People with aphasia tell us that they sometimes struggle to keep their friends after they get aphasia. So, we want to develop a program that speech language pathologists can use. This program would help people with aphasia stay connected to the friends that they had before they got aphasia. We are carrying out this research project in four stages. Stage one, assemble a team. Stage two, investigate current programs for helping people stay connected to their friends. Stage three, interview people with aphasia, significant others, and the friends of people with aphasia. Stage four, develop and test our own friendship program. At the moment, we have completed stages one and two and are currently working on stage three. How and why did we assemble a team during stage one? We want this project to be guided by people with aphasia and other experts. So, before we started research, we approached people about serving on our reference group. The reference group is made up of people with aphasia, significant others of people with aphasia, and speech-language pathologists. The reference group advises us on how we carry out this research. They shape the project by sharing their experiences. The reference group also helped us develop materials that we used during the research process. In stage two, we investigated what current programs exist for helping people stay connected to their friends. We searched many databases of published research articles. We reviewed thousands of articles. We were looking for articles about programs designed to help older people and people with communication disorders stay connected to their friends. We found 43 articles that were relevant. We also found that there are no programs for helping people with aphasia stay connected to their friends. What are some of the ideas we learned during stage two? We found that many friendship programs use technology to help people stay connected to their friends. Many friendship programs educate people about the steps they can take to form friendships. Many friendship programs are delivered to individuals or to groups. Many friendship programs help people build friendships around common interests. Many friendship programs incorporate arts such as singing or painting. We will use these ideas 
when developing our own friendship program. During stage three, we interviewed people with aphasia, significant others of people with aphasia, and friends of people with aphasia. In total, we interviewed 29 people with aphasia, nine significant others, and nine friends. We asked people about their experiences of friendship and about any ideas they might have for how to keep friendship strong when one of the friends has aphasia. We are still analyzing the interviews, but so far we have learned some interesting ideas. People with aphasia and their significant others believe that speech language pathologists should focus on friendship. People with aphasia tell us if their friends had basic information about aphasia, friendships might stay strong. What facts do people with aphasia think their friends should know? You're still the same person after your stroke. Slowing down and being patient can help communication. We also learned that many people with aphasia use technology, such as video chatting, to stay connected to their friends. In stage four, we will use ideas from stage two and three to develop a new program. This will be the first friendship program to help people with aphasia stay connected to the friends they had before aphasia. The members of our reference group will help us design this program. We will test the program. We will ask questions such as, does the program work? And how do people with aphasia feel about the program? That brings us to the end of this presentation. Thank you for spending this time with me. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at bearcher at bgsu.edu. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you and goodbye.